And we are back. Yes, it's uh, another playoff team preview for Season 9. Um, we've got 26 teams now accepted their ticket. We are waiting for just six more. Let's name and shame them. There they are. They're the six we're waiting for. Now, Oath 1 Special, he's already contacted saying he can't accept till Saturday. So fair play to him. But the other five, you've got to get it done. Come on, the likes of Patrick Riot there. Bloody Red Bull, the top seed. You've got to get it sorted. Nom KT, come on, lads. Get it done. Tarzog. Oh, man. Get it done. We want to start the uh, competition. Right, there's my grape out the way. So, who are we going to see today? Well, it be the effing cannons, the Tripurus team. With a whopping 2200 TV. That is freaking huge. And, um, yeah, this is a nasty team. This is the sort of team you don't want to play. Because one of two things will happen. You'll either beat him, what's great. But the problem is, you probably won't have much of your team left. Um... Oh, it's it's just nasty, isn't it? It really is nasty. I mean, you've got this guy here. Jump up, piling on, dauntless, mighty blow, claw. Yeah, he can ruin your day, no problem. You certainly wouldn't want to be uh, going against that guy, would you? Definitely not. He's got plenty of guard there as well. How many guard pieces? Four guard pieces. He's got a blood break, tackle, tackle, ball centaur. He's got um, a minotaur with juggernaut for surfing. And then obviously just a normal no frills ball centre. He must have lost the ball centre maybe. He's got a, a, a case draw blocker on um, steroids. Or at least speed. Because he's, he's got movement 6 instead of 4. That's an interesting. I don't know if I'd agreed with that. But this is Trip. Trip does things outside the box. And he'll tell you his way is the right way. This guy here is only one point off another level up. It is a nasty team. This sort of team you hope goes into a, a, a Chaos Kill team or an Eggle Kill team. The problem is that there isn't a Chaos Kill team because the Chaos team is only played three games. <laughs> so Tripperus will be loving that. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking what can really beat the living daylight out of this team. I'm struggling off the top of my head. I haven't really looked at um, the Nagle team yet of uh, Mercy Flushes, what we'll have a look later on, but I don't think it's that scary claw was um so i uh, tripperus yeah you know he's won a big private league before so he's been a champ in the big league of the mml um and now he's going to try and uh, win the big thing he obviously got through as a wild card because obviously um the top spot went to red bull so but thanks to the, the new rules this season he's got himself into the playoffs and this is a scary team he's got 13 players he's got two daddy players this team is built for one thing, and that's to wreck teams. And, um, you know, maybe maybe um, Gimlik may be able to give him a few problems, because Gimlik does have a good record against Big Effing Cannon. So for the rest of his coaches would probably want my good friend Dave Gimlik to take care of business. Because one way or another, the, the champ or trip, they'll, it'll be a car crash. Um, the, the, ro the romantic or the devil's advocate of me, which everyone would decide, would love to see Tripras draw Flynn Sorrow and his breaths again. Because um, last season, apart from probably the final, this game was the best game by far. It was so exciting. When um, the Bretts with in Griff We Trust beat um, Tripras is really good Norse team, but it was an absolute fantastic game. So, three team re-rolls. He's got his apothecary. No cheerleader, no coach assistant. He's got 230k in the bank. So, he's got a lot of cash. The other thing what you've got to remember is, if he's got the high TV, if he spends that cash, his opponent gets his cash. So, if he spent 200 grand, say on a wizard and a babe, then his opponent with the low TV would get a free 200 grand as well. So, you know, that's something to uh, think about, though. That, that's that's the thing about the rules now. If you've got a low TV, you're at a bigger advantage. Also, the other good thing for his 230k is if he does lose a player, uh, person, he can. He's got the cash to obviously uh, to, to buy any player you want. So there's also that to think of. Because what you got to remember as well is there's an extra round of games. So it's a longer uh, competition. So, 
more than likely you are going to lose players. And if you haven't got the cash to bring them back in, it's a problem. You lose a bull centre in this team, it's a, it should be a problem. At least if you can bring a new one in, even though it's a fresh one, at least it's still a good piece. Same with werewolves and various other big, big uh, players. The team itself looks solid. It really does. Um, weaknesses, well... There really isn't many weaknesses at all. If there is a weakness, it, it is it's in the TV. The TV is a 2,200. Granted, 80,000, he could shave off that straight away. would give him a 2,120 because 80 grand is bloat. Uh, anything over 150,000 cash carried over is bloat. So 10 for every 10k over you are. So my, the weakness I can see is, is TV. It is a lot. You know, some some teams could end up with seven, 800 in choosements against this guy and if he for some bizarre reason he was his own cash it could even be more um someone someone like my team would be good for him because obviously i wouldn't get much in inducements and plus my team is like i've said in my own tv preview it, it, it's battered there's not much my uh pal on killer would have to have a field day and i'd have to roll dice like i've never rolled for a very long time in the playoffs so someone like me he'd probably do well against um i think he will want to Keep well away from um, Gimlick. Gimlick is a guy who could cause him some serious pain. But, um, you know, he's got the security gate also was good. So basically, you know, you don't have to worry about if you score 10-16 instead of 10-16. You want to be able to set your defense knowing there's not going to be another turn. And obviously the pitch invasion as well. He, the last thing he wants is about five players on the pitch stunned. That could be bad. 25 wins, 10 draws, 9 losses. It's not a bad record at all. Um, he's been some good teams in there. He's had some good scraps. I mean, obviously, he's played against Goat of Nagel there. And obviously, good old scrap there. He's beat uh, 146 Renegades, who he'll, he will come up, uh, he may come up against as well. Um, Order All Stars, that must have been a, a friendly, because obviously, he can't play against them in the comp. Um, Avery's Daughters has played them. I think, did they make, I think they did make the uh, playoffs as well. So, uh, and Nightwing's there as well, 1 1. So, you know, he, he's, he's got. Um, you know, history with a few of these teams. Hospike Heroes, the Messi Flushes Nagel, he beat them 2-0 there. So, um, you know, he's a very good coach. He knows what he's doing. The team's scary as hell. Um, I'm struggling for really weaknesses. Like I said, the weakness maybe is his TV's high. Everybody else is going to be able to spend their inducements and get inducements off him. And, you know, if he spends his cash, that's only going to help his, his opponent. The question is, though, can Triperus finally become champion of the proper league we'll find out shortly and we are back yes here we go again another playoff team for the season now and um, ps4 sign um champions cup competition and um, the draw's been made. I've been screwed by bloody Gimlek saying it'd be a Necro or Mirror match. And we have one. But um, today we're going to have a look at the 146 Renegades. Uh, Elizabeth team coached by SC Wyatt. And uh, if I do believe, if I remember correctly, he's he's drawn the Amazons this this uh, first round. And um, he has one tackle piece to try and take him out with. So... <laughs> You know, but saying that, hey, mate, I'd have swapped to here for uh, Moonlight. But let's have a look at this team then. So, uh, early on in the season, this team was right up there. I even think there was um, top. And he had some very nice uh, skinks, and SE White is renowned for having good skinks. And um, as the season progresses, his team's been beaten up, and they've started to lose a few more games. And as you can see here, you know, he's... His um, him Saurus is he's, he's back to the five Saurus, what he's very famous for. I don't know if that's through people getting injured and he's only got 40k in the bank, or he's gone back to what he does in the in in the MML and just go with five Saurus. And that's something I'm not sure of. His skinks are all awful now. Look at this. Where's all the skinks gone? It, it seems like this team's been put through the ringer. Two movement five uh, Sauruses. Um. He's still got a nice block. Um, Crocs go with break tackles. That always helps. The biggest thing about this this team is Se Wyatt just plays lizards. He knows how to play lizards. So uh, you know I would never um, count him out. And he's got a, a, a decent first uh, round draw as well. So um, 
that's a bonus. Three team rolls. Got his apothecary. So, um, you know, he's got the security gate, the right and pitch invasion. Well, so it was good once one I get, but look at this 13 losses. So, um, yeah. I suppose it gives, gives my hope for my chaos uh, for season 10, who's got five losses already. Two blue screens, though. They need to sort that out. It's it's going to drive people off the game. But, uh, yeah, he, 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 he's he been, yeah, getting a bit of a beating um, of late. And um, he's limping into the. Uh, He's limping to the playoffs, but a very good 1-0 win against Goat of Nagel there, what is uh, he's a very good uh, result. And, um, yeah, he's got he's got some wins there. Unfortunately, got beat there by the champ 2-0, so there's no disgrace there. Necromondos, very powerful dwarf team as well. Blitzkrieg as well, everyone would struggle with them. That's not a good matchup either for, um, for the, uh, the Lizards and Big Effing Cannons as well. So he really has played a lot of the tough teams, and he's been put through the ringer. So, um Although he's got all them losses, there's, there's stipulations and reasons for that. So I wouldn't put you off going for this team. The problem I've got with this team is it's a bit battered. It really is. It's The, the Lizard teams this season have been put through the ring. All of them have been smashed apart. Probably the the, the only team what hasn't was Balding Guy's uh, Lizard team, but he failed to um, make it. In the, On the last day, he'd taken White's spot, but White came back and won his, his last game to regain it. So, um, you know, he's here. To me, I hope he does well. I just think the team won't last the way to the final. I think they've got a very nice draw. I'm not saying they'll win, but they've got a very nice draw first up. So th there shouldn't be no complaints on that. The question is, it, the team is, is battered. It really is. I mean, he needs to get some break tackle. I mean, it, it, obviously, Trip will be pleased. Is one point away. Um, Terry... Terry's three points away. And he's the only tackle piece, so he's going to be really important when it comes to uh, against the Amazon. So he's going to have to be doing a lot of the hitting, I think. And, um, you know, we'll have to see. But um, battered and bruised, this team is. Can they be the first Lisbon team to win the championship? Because I don't think we've had a Lizard one. I remember um, Fant Fox going extremely close with them. Um... So uh, can we can can S.E. Wyatt be the first coached on the PS4 to win the cup with Lizards? Well, not long to find out. Stay tuned, and we'll see if Wyatt and his five Soros can make history.